Hi guys, hope you're alright and having a great day. Just thought I'd do another little video. Um, yeah, I think, you know, it's important to be happy and to do the things that make you happy and the things that energise you as a person um, because there are too many people, you know, doing things that don't make them happy and I think, you know, we can get into these cycles of um, thought and behaviour of uh, living a life out of unhappiness, out of boredom, out of procrastination, um, you know, and I think we possess, um, we have all the things we need in ourselves to make our dream a reality if we put in the work um, take the action and make a plan you know it's not going to happen overnight things take time and, and you know the road is tough and I think you know if life was easy then it would be boring and I think if you got instant results straight away you wouldn't be able to reflect on the journey um, that got you to your destination um, yeah, so I think, you know, it's really important to do something that is meaningful, something that has an impact. If you don't know what that is yet, um, don't stop, you know, keep doing what you're doing whilst trying to figure out what it is that you want to do or who you want to be. Um, and I think, you know, society puts a lot of pressure on people to figure out what it is that they want to do straight away. Um, you know, especially in education and school and, and people's, you know, families and parents and friends. Everyone's doing something or going to university or going into certain jobs. Um, you know, and it puts pressure on us to try and figure out what it is that we, we're going to be doing. And, you know, you, I, I think personally some people know from a very early start what it is they want to be and what it is they want to do and you know they hear that kind of hit the ground running really you know through school college education university work etc um in fair play if people you know know what they want to do early on um fair play to them everyone's different some people just know you know sometimes you've got to try things out try out certain careers try certain things to find out what it is that you want to do because you you don't know until you try and sometimes you know you might need to give a bit of time you know and just listen to yourself if it doesn't feel right then don't stay in it or if it doesn't feel right keep pushing with that and see where it goes because sometimes if 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 it's what if you're in your comfort zone you go into a situation where it pushes you out of your comfort zone and that doesn't feel good then you push through with that and you'll grow and you'll develop and you become more resilient you become more confident and more experienced in that thing whatever it is but if it's bringing you such unhappiness in whatever you're in then I'd say you know make a change and try and find something that does make you happy you know because at the end of the day you need to feel valued you need to feel recognised, you need to feel respected. And these are all kind of qualities that we thrive and, um, you know, these are things that we thrive on and it drives us forward when you feel like you belong, respected, valued. Um, these three key things, and you know, many others as well, that encourage you to do better in that vocation or whatever it is as a person. But... You know, I, I kind of do these videos and I, t I kind of probably touch base on a similar thing. But, you know, it's something which I've experienced in myself. And I've, I've done things that I've not enjoyed and I've not been happy in. And, you know, sometimes, you know, you, you grow in those places. But I think sometimes there comes a point where, you know, you need to make changes. But you possess all the, all the qualities and all the attributes. And you have everything in you as a person to get you to where you want to be and you know I think a lot of the time it's how you react to situations in life um, 
It's how you dodge the curveballs. There's always going to be curveballs in life thrown at you. And it's how you maneuver around those and keep going and keep pushing forward. And, you know, and, and not to be one of life's victims of complaining and being pessimistic and negative of why you're not where that person is. And that kind of comes to, you know, being a victim, playing the victim card and comparing yourself to others. And if you put all your time and energy into being a victim and comparing yourself to others, you're not going to get to where you want to be. Because you'll be putting so much time and energy into finding excuses as to why you're not where you are, where you want to be. And, you know, and, and you have this blueprint of like a backstory of why you are who you are based on certain situations or things happening. Like, I'm not good at this because this happened. Or, I'm not good at this because that person said. Or, you know, and it's, it's your self-belief system. And a lot, of, a lot of your life situation and the title you're at um, and your current situation comes to how you think about yourself um, and your belief system about yourself, you know, and how you think. And this all comes down to experiences in our life and our upbringing and the people you surround yourself with. Um, and the messages that we take from experiences. And that's what a lot of us are as people. We are the thoughts and beliefs that we've created about ourselves from external experiences. And we've internalized that. And, you know, that is kind of how things work for the most of us in our, in our minds, in our lives. And, you know, in reality, it should be, you know, internally, tune into yourself, and your mind, your energy, your belief system, and work on that, and really get to know yourself, and, you know, deal with your shit, and everyone's got shit, everyone's got insecurities, everyone's got uh, flaws and strengths, but it's about working with your flaws and strengths, and channeling your energy and your drive and being the best person that you can without, you know, not being in a big-headed way. It's how you are with it. Some people are big-headed with it and they're very showy where, you know, if you're humble, you're respectful and you're mindful of where you stand and, and how, others pe how other people are, and being mindful that, you know, everyone's on a different path and everyone's on a different journey. And everyone is at a different stage in their life. Um, you know, Mr. X might be there, but Mr. Z might be here. But, you know, Mr. Z has to be mindful of where Mr. X is. Because sometimes in life, Mr. X can overtake Mr. Z. And then, you know, that's kind of how life works. Um, you know, one minute you might be here and then your friend's down there. And they might be there and you're there. And it's kind of how the world works. But, you know, as long as you're being consistent towards, um, you know, living and working towards your goals. Um, if you don't have any goals, um, you know, just think about it. Take a second, make a list, um, you know, on a scale of 1 to 10. 1 being not so much, 10 being a lot. Have your goal here, 1 to 10. Um, how how much you want to achieve that goal and, and kind of do it in a ranking order um, and do it stage, stage by stage you know because I think when you have goals um, in place it kind of sets your mind onto something and it gives you that energy it propels you forward like a rocket towards those goals and when you achieve that goal it makes you feel good and then you want to achieve the next goal and the next goal and so forth and so on and so forth. And you build more momentum the more goals you um, accomplish. Um, that's why, you know, a lot of people don't like, to, some people don't like taking days off because they feel like when they have a day off, that momentum dies down. Um, they, you know, keep on working, keep on working to keep that momentum going because people can be afraid of uh, losing that momentum and like drive or energy. Um, sometimes I can be the same. Um, you can worry about, you know, if you don't do much or you have a day off, then you're going to lose that drive. But, you know, hey-ho, everyone's got their own thing. 